welcome back to my channel hi welcome to lizzie's week i hope you are well i have just come back from bali about eight ten days fresh off the plane this morning it is now a lovely gray day in england so i'm just doing all i can to stay awake for the rest of the day i've got loads of stuff here that i got in bali because it is the place to haggle and just do experiences and it's pretty much i wanted to do a summary of the things i got the things i did and some tips and tricks tactics of how you can get the best price on stuff and make your money go further while still having a really good time. I've also got some videos and blogs coming out on this so depending on what order I do I'll put them in the description when I can uh, otherwise keep an eye out. Yeah hopefully this gives you an idea of what to expect and the prices at the minute so I went the end of May start of June 2022 and I'm not gonna lie I became slightly obsessed it gave me the dopamine hit I needed and I'm hoping to put some conversions right here where I remember in pound sterling so the way currency works in Bali is very very strange before I do actually go into some of the stuff I got um I have a few tips which is I would highly recommend watching Colin a broadcast he's a youtuber who goes around the world and he basically tries to haggle the best prices that he can at markets and I watched his Bali one so many times that's how I came across it and I've seen all of his other videos and basically just like confidence and then getting an idea of what the price of a good is so basically how much you think it is and what you're willing to pay so it's like comparing what's expensive what's cheap but there are some things be mindful that you just cannot haggle for example your visa and then food it is rude to haggle food there are some things you can do like haggling goods and some services and tours for example i've also got food and drink taxis and transport and then just when you're looking around markets my tip is to go the whole way around you will have people shouting at you like buy this bloody cheap good price that kind of thing but don't let yourself be dissuaded look around first don't just buy stuff for the sake of it if you know what you want go in there be confident and my advice is Set yourself a personal budget. So what is the maximum amount you would spend in your own currency on that good? And then in terms of haggling, they will often like often inflate the price so much, like often more than double. Also, if you want to buy more than one thing from that store, it works in your favour so you can get more value as well. When they do not give you the price you want, walk away and they will more than likely offer you what you want. I haven't really got a strict layout of how I'm going to do this, but I'll just jump into what is in front of me. But my main things on the first day was my visa. That was 500,000. You may think 500,000 pounds. No, it works at about 28 pounds sterling. And then from then on, pretty much it's expensive to get to Bali, but when you're there, pretty much a lot of things are cheap. For example, there were some beds on the beach. This is where you get haggled a lot. There will be people asking you like every five to 10 meters if you want a sunbed or to do an activity or buy something from them so we got this guy i think it was like in, on semenyak beach which is where we stayed first we got some beds the three of us 50k each for the whole day whereas when we went to kuta it was 150k for three hours that's 150k each and it was ridiculous so we we're just like no we'll just move on and then it is different everywhere you go but we found it for like 50k again but for three hours further down the beach so just bear in mind those things they're, all, they're so competitive around there they will give you the best price that you want now onto some of the goodies I got when I was there. These things were one of the first I got and they are <laughs> shoes. They're basically like, my friend, she had them and I was like, I want a pair. So I did, went into a shop. I think they're meant to be like Birkenstocks, but I wasn't gonna pay like hundred pounds. The dopamine hit was good on this one. So the guy offered me 600 for these originally. So that's, I don't know, is that like 30 pounds or something? I was like, no, I'm not gonna spend that. So I got him down to 180 and I think that works out is it nine pounds or something? From reflection, I could have got it even cheaper, but he was driving a hard deal and I had to try on a few pairs, so I felt kind of bad. But still, like, down from that, and that's what? Less than, that's less far, far less than half, though. So that is good. Next, this was actually my first purchase that I got. It was a bag and perfume. Now, perfumes, <laughs> I knew it was going to be bad. I just didn't know the smell would be that bad. He offered me 700 for both of them, and I was like, no my, no darling you're way up here and i'm down here and i would do this a lot when i was haggling and they'd say like okay what is your price and i would go really low i knew i didn't want to pay more than half or half the price so i start off really low and whatever i wanted to pay maximum i would work my way up to it but depending if they could haggle in between that's where it'd come out so again i start really low and it may seem quite insulting i don't know if it's like i drive a hard bargain one of the women said i do gave her a little wink but then these ones this is a little like gucci dupe bag and it comes with this chain obviously it's not it's not the real thing um and it comes with this like 
Oh, the strap, I don't know where it's gone, but it's really like tacky, but what do you expect when you're paying? I think it was 320 for both of these. And he offered, yeah, so it's 700 and I got him down to 320. That was one of my first purchases. So I think it was just like getting me like warming myself up. Um, and then this perfume, yeah, it's not the one. It's meant to be the J'adore Dior Eau de Parfum. Uh, yeah, I think this is something my grandma will like. So she'll like that as a little gift or like a little room spray. But for me, this just isn't the one. And it is just plastic. It's not like glass or like metal or anything. But yeah, I, for what I paid, I'm not mad. Oh yeah, more on the bag. It's actually really good quality. The zip works really well and you've got like this cover on the little brand there i've not taken it off yet but i will when i do actually use it i really oh yeah i've got the strap here so that just hooks onto both bits what oh so the gold one actually does hook on yeah like you can see it hooks on to there but then i've just realized the strap I think this is meant to be a belt. Okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't pay too much for it. But I can just find a different strap online. <laughs> Great. I decided I'm gonna do items first and then I'll move on to like food and drink and then tools and stuff. Then next I got a belt. So part of the Gucci Club still got this one and it's like really well made it was too big for me so he actually cut more holes in the store whilst i was there like he got his gun and just and again he was really high i was down here and so he originally offered me 300 for this and that's what 15 pounds i think and i got him down to 140 and as i said he was really nice we shook on it and then he put holes in the belt and now it fits next this is by far like the long one of the longest bargains yeah there's another one coming up um, I got some sunglasses. Now these, are, they're two pairs that are exactly the same. They're little Ray-Bans. Again, I got these in Seminyak um, from a little flea market, which is just on a bend. And they're, they're fantastic. It's like what you, they don't feel definite Ray-Ban. However, they are UV filtered or rayed, whatever. Like the woman who sold them to me, she has this like little image with like birds on. So when you like put it on, you can see the birds and it just shows they have the UV filter on them. Yeah, this was like one of the longest bargains. So they originally offered me Oh, I don't have it. I think they offered me 200 for each pair. I was like, oh no, I'll do 100. So it's quite very low. They're like, no, that gets you a cheaper option. They showed me different alternatives. So I was like, okay, but I want two of them. And then I worked my way up and then we eventually met in the middle. They said 250. I was like, no, no, no I'll do like max 190. It's like, no, 200. So I was like, cheeky 195. And we were like battling for that. I mean, I was being really stubborn. I did not want to give that five away. And I managed to get them for 195. So that's just under 10 pounds for two sunglasses. And as I said, they're exactly the same. They do the job. And now my boyfriend and I can have matching sunglasses. Win. On the Monday, my friends and I, we visited Kuta, which is just like an hour's walk from Seminyak on the beach, which is again where we got haggled by loads of people. So if you're not, if you don't really like that, you may just find it better to get on a taxi or like on the back of a moped or something. But there, they have some great stuff. They have great markets. They sell stuff on the beach as well. And there's also the beach walk shopping mall thing. And they've got loads of brands in there as well. Starting off with what I got from the beach walk centre. <laughs> this is probably like my, one of my most extravagant gifts. It was from Bath and Body Works. Now, I wanted to go there since I knew they had one. However, I was really disappointed. They didn't have much on offer on there. And I was like, I dragged my friends here. I have to get something. And like, there was only one thing. And it was this shower gel. This was just under 272,000 rupees. And um, it smells wondrous. It's Shea and Vitamin E shower gel. It's kind of like musky. Like this could be for both male and female. So it's like sandalwood musk sugar tangelo and white agarwood no idea what those are but it smells lovely again i couldn't haggle that because that is like a set price like big stores you don't haggle that it's mark marketplace and stuff that you do and in the marketplace which is like from the side of the beach walk center i got two things from a beauty place so i got my hair done i got it in plaits and it was 100 and i got them down to 80 and it was like french plaits and like i'm not gonna lie i didn't like it and i was too like afraid to tell them i didn't at the time because they were really tight and really small and my friends were watching me like do you like it like yes yeah, good thank you it was nice out on my face and it looked all right under my hat but as soon as I got back to my hotel I just took it out anyhow later that day I went back to them and I got a massage and again it was like five pounds <laughs> the equivalent of five pounds I didn't have to haggle out because it was so cheap already and like it's not going to be like your 50 pound luxurious spa treatment here but it was like better than nothing I mean like really like really got in there like pressure pressure points and I just felt so relaxed after I mean it was a bit like 
skin on skin not quite like oily like you do some massages but it was an hour it was five pounds and i came out much more relaxed than i went going in right haha <laughs> this next one uh, this is like my most annoying unnecessary purchase when i said about hagglers on the beach and people like begging and attacking you to buy one of their things it was these it was these bracelets these three bracelets this woman i can't remember her name i think it was yenny she was like oh please buy from me they will guilt trip you because like two years no like of covid no business and they have to take care of themselves and their families they use that and it does get the heart my friend was also next to me and she was getting hounded by another woman and she eventually bought i think it was like six for ten pounds from her and i was like this woman like i'll give you a hundred for four she was like no but she's got that so in the end i was getting almost really pissed off and i was like right i'll get the three for a hundred and then you go okay i have to be so firm i got them she left they're very cute. You can see this one's got a little elephant and this one has a little turtle. Uh, and then also here, this one is another elephant. Yeah, they are very pretty. I don't regret them. It's just the experience. It's not that enjoyable. And I don't like being firm like that with people because they're just trying to make a living. But yeah, if you're not a fan of that, maybe stay away from the beach. Oh, also that day in Kuta, we actually did some turtle releasing. You don't have to pay for it, but they do ask for a small donation. Uh, it's just a once in a lifetime thing, I think. And for every 1,000 turtles they release, only one survives. So anything they can do to help them is just welcome. Uh, I loved it. I named mine Rosie and I let Rosie off into the ocean. So hopefully she is out there and she's going to be one of that thousand that survives. After Seminyak, we moved to Uluwatu, which is further south of Bali. And I won't lie, I found it a bit more expensive, even though I was told it's much cheaper down there. This was like food, drink, but I think because it's more like a Western vibe. And in terms of getting goods, I just waited again until we went to Kuta again and Ubud. So when we went to Ubud, I got more things. That was the day I spent a lot of my money, but um, I do not regret it because I got these. I I can't explain it. It says sambal asli. It is like spicy ketchup and I love it. They had these on like restaurant tables and I was like, I need some of this. And it works out like 40p each. They're like 8,000 each or 8,500 each. So I got these in like the local supermarkets and they also do them at like the local garages. But yeah, I love this. I can't wait to have this with my food. And it is just divine. Also, more things I got in the supermarket. I was like, I'll try some of the chocolate when I'm here. And then I also saw this cashew nut one. I can't quite remember the price of this. I think it works out to be like 80 pence sterling. And then also some Tim Tams. These are actually a gift from my boyfriend because he went there a few years ago and he was obsessed with them. They're basically like penguins. And I got these for, I think it was 9,000. So it was like, I'll treat him to those because I'm very kind like that. So hopefully he'll enjoy those. I got a packet for me. They were fine, but they're literally overhyped penguins. So yeah, I could have offended a lot of people there, but that's just my verdict. Continuing on, we went to Ubud's coffee and tea tasting thing. It's like a coffee plantation and they grow loads of stuff there. And I also tried Luwak coffee, which is like Luwak animals are given coffee. They poop it out and then you grind it up and use it as coffee. It sounds rank. It tastes all right. It's a very acquired taste. But also at that plantation, they had some ginger tea in the tasting bits. I got some. It was blooming good. You could like really feel it in the back of your throat. It was just so strong and it's good for like the gut. And I definitely need that for when I have like poor indigestion days. Yeah, this was 80,000 so it's a bit of a pricey aside but it all supports the plantation and i also got this chocolate orange which was ninety thousand, and there's no milk in this so it doesn't melt which is good i can't believe i haven't touched this yet but i'm looking forward to sharing it with my friends and family a nice chocolate orange bar coffee i couldn't not get coffee there was some i wanted to get in a place i ate which was called the loft and they served nomad coffee but that was two hundred thousand, which is like 10 pounds so instead i got some normal barley coffee this is like 50p in the local supermarket so i will be having that and then continuing on with the ubud stuff my dopamine levels were at an all-time low i was in a bad mood after the buffet lunch i had but that's for another time it was awful so i needed something to pick me up and the market helped me just fine the first one it i went in hard this is what i mean you can get a blooming good bargain i got this and these two gorgeous coconut bowls these are some of the main things i wanted like they are so gorgeous like a lot of the food i was served when i was in bali was in coconut bowls they keep the heat of your food and you can literally stuff so much in there <laughs> going in she offered me 350 for this and then 80 each for the bowl so 160 i wasn't having that i was like i'll give you 150 and they're like oh that's insulting and i started walking away and they're like no 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 come back come back 
this is where it starts this is where you can get your price i found in the uber markets they're more willing to accept your prices or whatever but i knew that was too low and they're like come on give me more because that doesn't even cover my costs whether they're fibbing or not i do not know but i was like okay i'll give you a bit more i got the three of these for 190 and upon reflection again i was like i could have bought them cheaper but my friend was like I think it did pretty well seeing as it was 350 for the bag alone and then you got all of them for like 190 so yeah I think I've run on that and look how gorgeous this bag is I mean there's like the traditional barley bag which is like round but I wanted something that was a bit more like versatile and suited like when I was back at home but yeah it's just this gorgeous like is it like rattan but it's like weaved oh my hair oh and then this like popper open and then look how gorgeous that print is it is beautiful this is honestly so well done it pops very nicely it fits my phone it fits my purse and my lip balm it is great i look so look forward to using this it's so cute and i just hope to use it with like little dresses and when i wear shorts and stuff so yeah i love this i'm really glad i got it and these because i was obsessed with getting these we continued in the market and we looked at some artwork honestly it's amazing the amount of artwork they've got there they should be a museum not these like poncy old like a yellow triangle on white these are honestly so moving they're so talented the people who make these there was jewelry lots of jewelry i knew i wanted to get jewelry when i was there yeah i managed to get i think i got this little ring separate and she offered me i got this for 30 and i i think i swear she offered me like 150 maybe maybe more i got this down to 30 and that's like one pound 50 which i still think is generous can you see that yeah it's just this little gold ring and with a little blue in it so it's literally just like a tiny ring and i went further down Pr the markets pretty much sell all the same things and i found these little turtle earrings look how gorgeous they are they're so cute they're so dainty and this little ring with like a little mustard colored gem these two the earrings and this little gold ring i got them down from 150 to 60. I'm a business girl. We don't stop there. It was a very spenny day. I am wearing my little barley top. And I got it at the same time I got this. This is also for my boyfriend. It's a little Bintang t-shirt. It's like their beer of choice out there in Indonesia. And it's like so cheap. I think like bottles are like the equivalent of a pound fifty sterling. But yeah, I got these two t-shirts. It was 120 each originally. I was like, hell no, can you do it for two? And then I was like, I walked away and again it worked. She was like, okay i'd recommend with clothing and shoes sizing up a bit because their clothes come up quite small so this top is a large and i would have got a medium i think it's the same with this one as well because i like them quite oversized and my shoes i'm normally a uk5 which is like, like 30 eu 38 but in the shoes these shoes i got these were 39 slash 40 so just bear that in mind we're still going i don't know about you but i love these kinds of things i got this hat i got this little cap i just wanted something because my friend's boyfriend who is with us he had something quite similar he had this color and he had like a little i think it was a ralph one or a kangol one i seriously think i over I overpaid for this one i was in a rush because we moved to kuta at this point again like on the way back from Ubud. i was like i want a cap and they sell loads of these again in different shops but i got this for five pounds 100 and she originally said 150 so i kind of wish i got it for less but Hey, hey, win some, you lose some. And again, it's really good quality. I like it. I don't know if I suit, cap, suit caps, but it feels all right. We're almost done on the goods. Thank you for making this far if you did. I got a gift for my brother. And this is where I met the lovely Charlie Brown. Ha ha ha. I told him my name was Mary because they find it hard to pronounce my name. Um, so that was my code name. And my friend looked at me like, what, your name's Mary? So I got this t-shirt. This is a large, I think, or an XL. And this is XXL. Um, so it's quite, it just about fits my brother. I mean, like this is massive on me. And it's the Mad Hooies. I have no idea if that's a band or a place or something or just like a random top top. And I got it with this. And again, it was like at night and they'd found me at another store where I got this next purse. And they dragged me down there and I kind of felt bad, but also I was like, okay, I'll get something, <laughs> which probably isn't the best thing when it's out of pity. But I got this little Bintang beer cozy. Again, that's for my boyfriend. I'm spoiling him. Yeah, this is for my brother. He said 320 for both of these. And I was like, okay, you can have these back. So no, 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 your lowest price. And I was going like 50 and then got it up to the maximum. I paid 100. Again, I still think I could have got it cheaper, but for both of these, a fiver, what more can you ask for? Okay, and I think this is the last of the goods I got. This was again in Ubud, it was at night. It is this Louis Vuitton dupe purse. Now this is the, I think it's like, is it monogram canvas print that they've got? I may be totally wrong, it's like similar colours. But inside it's, you can just tell it's a dupe, like 
if I've even got some money in there. Yeah, the barley money feels fake, like early learning center, if you ever played with that stuff. But yeah, I don't know if you can see, but like the compartments are quite small. It can fit my receipts and stuff okay, but in terms of like the card compartments, yeah, they don't fit cards in. You can put stuff in the gaps, but in terms of that, it's really just for show. And that's all I wanted really, something that was a bit bigger than like a coin purse. I could still put coins in and my cards together. Also, I was very happy with the bargain I got on this. Originally, he offered me 350. I got him down to 120. He was being cheeky. I handed over my money, I think it was 150, and he wouldn't give me my change. So I was like, uh uh, come on, brother, you need to give me my change. So it's just that banter as well, just bear that in mind. But yeah, they might call you brother or boss. I just love it. They're so kind and they're there to do business. I just love the Bali people, they're insane. I was very happy with that. It's got a little like handle as well, so it's what you get, it's what you pay for, and like the zip works okay. Yeah, for like six pounds, I'm pretty pleased with that. So as you've gathered, some of my tips so far is not paying more than half the price they re they offer. And then when you do offer stuff, go really low and mo make your way up to the price you want to pay. And then if they're not offering it, walk away and then see how they react to that. I find like eight times out of 10, they will give you what you want. And then there were just a couple of occasions when they just weren't bothered. I was too low for them. But yeah, look around the markets. As I said, it varies which markets you go to. For example, Seminyak was a lot pricier, but I found they had a lot more range of like, if you're into your brands and stuff like your Louis Vuitton, Dior, Prada, and then I think there were some Chanel's. There were definitely YSL's. All your brands are in there. And then like your football tops and shoes and stuff. They have so much choice there. Kuta, it's a bit more limited, like more just Louis Vuitton and I think Dior. And then Uluwatu, there was just like nothing there it's more like western and like more like food and stuff and then Ubud, that's more of a traditional market. In the end, we did like two or three tours. So the first one was to Nusa Padina, which is the island just off of Bali. This, we got this at a really good deal. So it's by Baim, by Baim, Baim Bali Tours. So I'll try and put his handle here. He's on Instagram and then like, he'll connect with you and then give you WhatsApp as well. You'll find a lot of the people in Bali connect via WhatsApp. And they communicate that way. It's just a free, affordable way for them to communicate. From there, he helped organise a tour for the day. So that included our transport from the hotel through to the boat that took us to the island and then a tour around the island so we had like three stops there'll be more of that in another video and that included lunch and also more transport around the island coming back on the boat and then back to our hotel that was really good we paid i think 700 for that amazing yeah that day was 700 and i think that is such good value also the uber tour which was such an exhausting day we did so much that was an early start as well we mainly paid for the guys fuel so there were three of us so it's 600 200 each which is so good so £10 each for fuel, I think that works out. And like, you can't argue with that. Fuel there is quite cheap anyway. We just told him where we wanted to go. He took us there. He recommended some spots. And that's another thing. Just connect with the locals because tourism is what puts them up. And they all, they've been there for years. They've lived there. They know what's there to offer. And yeah, they're always so kind. They always want to help and they want to make a living as well. Taxis I didn't use too much, but there are some like standout options. Obviously you can get a moped or you can connect with people and just charge them that way. Or there are people selling at the side of the streets, although I didn't really go for them. There was Bime who we used as well, but there's also the app Gojek and Grab and they give you recommendations of prices on there. I think it's a bit like Uber, but it works a lot better there. And you can just jump on a moped. For example, from my Uluwatu hotel to my friends, it was like 60p on a moped. So that's like 11,000, really not bad at all. In terms of my taxi from Uluwatu to the airport going home, that was about 130. And then there's another 10k on top of that, which is like 50p. And that covers the drop off fee at the airport. So just bear that in mind. And then there's other stuff like food and drink. So food varied depending on what time of day it was and where you were. So breakfast was included in my first hotel in Seminyak, but there are loads of affordable places nearby and it, you could pay like up to 100 pounds 100k which is like five pounds for a meal so it works out cheaper to like do it that way instead of buying the goods yourself and cooking and time as well it saves you time but yeah i found there were loads of options in seminyak you will not go hungry or thirsty there's loads of ice cream they're always there to help there's so much coffee as well first cup proper coffee i had was in uluwatu and that was blooming divine it was the nomad coffee at the loft it was so good but uh, yeah as i said before uluwatu is a bit pricier so you can have anything ranging from like 
50k for a cup of coffee through to I think like 120 for a meal so just bear those kinds of things in mind when we went to Ubud we had this buffet lunch I sound really picky when I think about this because we've had such good meals for like max 100k including service and government tax stuff it came to that but this buffet there were like six options available and there were flies everywhere after all the tax and government stuff it was more than 10 pounds I mean still it doesn't break the bank but knowing that we had this really nice food elsewhere peed me off a little bit but as I said the dopamine hit it got me good later in the day. I say that's pretty much it. I hope you've made it this far. If you have, thank you so much for watching. But yeah, my main things are haggle. Don't haggle food, that's rude. Walk away if they're not giving you the price you want and also set yourself a budget and don't pay more than half of what they're recommending. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. And if you are going to Bali, I would highly recommend Bime, Bime's Bali Tours. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy Bali and love it as much as I did and the sunshine. It's so grey here today. I think it's like 13 degrees versus like the 31 degrees I've been having but I do have a lovely tan as well you see that it'll probably be gone in like the next two weeks anyway I had such an amazing time I really enjoyed filming this video I really hope you enjoyed it thank you thank you again and I look forward to seeing you soon oh and sharing my Bali video as well see you soon bye